Hello and what's the Flaming Army? Welcome to my first top 10 video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Here it is. Let's go. You're sliding down again. That's better. Okay. Now. That's gonna be cut out. So to kick off my top 10, my series of top 10s on this channel, which is a new channel, which obviously focuses on top 10s and game reviews. I'm a spaz. I'm, why not go with an easy one, just gonna start off, personal top 10, my personal favorite Pokemon, excluding starters and legendaries, because they're gonna have their own stuff later, and not now, stop sliding phone, you need to be good, stay, camera be nice, you, right there, be good. So, coming in at number 10 is Luxray, Luxray gets its spot on this top 10, due to the fact that it's... One of the few Electro-type Pokemons that I actually really like. I mean, its design is super cool. I've always enjoyed it. And it has moves that are just good enough to make it onto the top 10. I mean, some of them might go in more depth. That one I really don't because I'm not good with words. Okay. Now for number 9, we have Alakazam. I mean, who does not love the original? <laughs> Psychic type Pokemon. I mean, he was so good at the start, at the beginning of this first few games. It's just like God, he was so overpowered. He's better than the newer ones. I mean, their the new ones are good and everything, but they're not to the level of what Alakazam was in the original. When there were like no weaknesses to it, he was just so overpowered, and like he could rule the game. He was so freaking freaking powerful. It's insane. And now, for number 8, we're going with a little bit later. I mean, I guess not really, because I started out with Luxray. I don't know what I'm talking about. We're going with Honchkrow. I mean, he's a dark-type bird. I mean, I love his design. Just look, look, design there. Magic. Design. <laughs> I mean, there's going to be one mentioned later on, which is my favorite dark type, and I'm not sure if you guys are going to say it legendary, but for me, legendary, it's not legendary. It's not in that valve whole thing deal there. I don't know what I just said before that. But even though there are stronger and better dark types, I can't get past the look of Onchkro. He's so cool. Makes a bird Pokemon that I really enjoy. I mean, it, before this, it was... um. Knocked Owl, which I also loved, but when the design factor comes in, it has to be Honchkrow. 100% Honchkrow. Number 7 is Tyranitar. I mean, some people may be expecting Tyranitar to be in later in this video, but no, he's number 7 because I just never used him that much, but he is one of the stronger and better Dark types out there. Especially in the original games, he was like the best freaking dark type that there was. He was so cool. I mean, who can not look at this Pokemon and be terrified? It's like freaking Godzilla. Tyranitar, Godzilla, same thing. There you go. It was just so freaking strong and powerful. I mean, how could I not like Tyranitar? Number six is the original ghost type evolution who can cause nightmares even to this day if you're facing off against them. It is the one, the only, Gengar. I'm not really going to talk about the Mega Evolution because I have not played those games with the Mega Evolution. Like he, uh, with his hypnosis and then Dream Eater combination in the early games, literally can make you destroy any of the opponents quickly as long as you're not dumb and accidentally get rid of hypnosis like I did in my playthrough. Number 5 is Lucario. We have the epic fighting type Pokemon, as well known when it was featured in the movie. Forgot the name, here's the title, there you go, Magic. <laughs> he's only number 5 in the list because he's one of the few fighting type Pokemon that I actually enjoy to use. I'm not big on most types. I'm very keen on what I use, and people think I'm crazy for it, but you know what? It happens. It's like my favorite Pokemon since when you first got him. Like, the first time you get him is, like, insane. You're, like, not expecting it, and you get it from it. Uh, fuck, I forgot. Well, you get it, and, nah. It's just so cool. His design's cool. 
He's super powerful. He has the aura thing going on with his Yeah, that thing. I just really like him. Coming in at number four, we have Dragonite. He was like one of the most sought after Pokemon I remember from the original games where people just needed to get freaking Dratini, to get Dragonair, to get Dragonite because everybody wanted a Dragonite. And the Pokemon anime, Dragonite was so freaking strong. And I mean, even lately, seeing how I've been watching the uh, Jerome and all of them play Pixelmon, everybody wants a Dragonite because they're so strong. He has so many moves that make it makes him so strong. He's literally the Pokemon I spent most time trying to get before. And like in my playthrough, I just kind of five or seven or two days trying to get him from the uh, uh, casino on Pokemon Silver. Coming at number three is the one that you guys may think is a legendary, but I mean, eh. I, count, I don't count him as legendary because you can breed him, or her, or it, or whatever. It's Zoroark. This is my favorite dark po type Pokemon ever. Like, the special attack stat is so good on it when you get the right type. God, I mean, not right type. All right, um, nature. That's what it's called. When you get the right nature, it's so, so good. With its array of dark type attacks, it's just amazing. On top of that, you can literally, like, with its uh, ability, if you have a Pokemon that you lead, that is the actual opposite of what Zoroark is. So when you switch Zoroark in, it'll be that Pokemon. And there you go. Super cool. Super cool. So high on this list because I seriously love Zoroark. Now for number two. My favorite evolution of all time. Ask anybody. It's my favorite. Is Vapor. And I've always loved Eevee and all the evolutions. But this one has always just taking the cake not literally because the cake is a lie and he led my team when I, w I was in a group and I ran a water type gem I did double battles so literally Vaporeon was my lead everybody else on the team had uh, surf so that Vaporeon could get water absorb HP up and it was play the strength of the skill so combine <laughs> Combine that with the Aqua Ring ability that, I mean, attack that Vaporeon can get, and the uh, fact of putting leftovers on it, Vaporeon was just always healing. You, even if you took it down a lot, Surf and then Aqua Ring on top of leftovers could literally bring it back up to full health without any worries. That's why uh, Vaporeon's number two. Now for number one, my all time, without a doubt, favorite Pokemon. Of all time, no argument, you can't tell me it's not cool, it's Arcanine, the powerhouse of Pokemon. It literally just, I love it so much, like, it's a fire type, it can get Thunder Fang, it can use Extreme Speed. One, when it first came out, it was the only Pokemon at all whatsoever that could learn the move Extreme Speed. But it's just, Thunder Fang really set it apart from anything else for me, because fire type, getting a Thunder type move that can take out because the speed stack can be super high can take out the water type opponent that it's going against literally made it so it can go surpass that water week oh yeah that's why he's number one yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this is my first top 10 tell me how i did tell me what your favorite pokemon is in the description below I also recommend other topics for me to do for top 10s and as always, like if you like and subscribe to the Fleming Army. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.